So I found this Tascam 388 Studio 8 uh, eight track recorder on Craigslist for super cheap. It's a big machine and um, it has problems. I gotta fix these issues if I wanna use this machine. That's the story. Since the start of COVID, I've been living in my parents' barn and dressing like a hobo. I'm building a recording studio in here with just whatever stuff I can find inside the barn. Most nights, I scour Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for cheap audio gear that nobody wants. That's how I found this Tascam M30 for 75 bucks. I even somehow got this Yamaha 4-track cassette recorder for free. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing something here. Oh, f*** me. So when I saw a Tascam 388, the holy grail of home recording machines, for a quarter of its going rate, I said, Aw oh, yeah. And I drove to motherfucking Vermont. When I got close, I knew something was wrong. I knew I, you can't trust these hippie people. The machine doesn't actually want to fast forward. Somewhat disconnected. There's resistance on it. The counter is not moving forward. It got knocked. Oh my God. Immediately after buying the machine, I tried to sell it. I had so much buyer's remorse that I posted it online for sale before I even got home. What did I do? I bought a 40 year old piece of crap that doesn't even work. And now I have no choice but to fix it. Here we go. Thank you so much for subscribing so I can keep making videos like this. I'm just twisting these knobs because some of these knobs are just kind of dirty and I was, that's why I wasn't getting a signal when I started turning them. So these things just need to get the lead out. That was all I had to do, just turn the knob. Everything's functioning so far except some of the transport stuff. First time I've ever loaded tape and I got this Tascam 388. That's just a cool looking thing. I have no idea if this is correct. I hear a bit of friction from my limited research. I think all I gotta do is that, and then I already set these up, I think where they're supposed to be. Guess we'll find out in short order. Uh, I'm gonna just use a three mic setup and see what it sounds like. I just got a signal. I'm really pumped. I don't wonder what happens if you rewind all the way to the beginning. Um, problem is counter doesn't work, play, nothing happens, and fast forward doesn't work at all. Those are two big problems because you can't really do a recording session easily because you can't like return to zero, you can't just like rewind, you have to like listen and you can't fast forward if you have another song later in the track and it's really hard to get around to different songs. Also channel one doesn't work. I don't want to mess with it anymore because it was kind of working and now it doesn't work at all. It wasn't fast forwarding and the counter wasn't working, but I figured out, I think how to fix it. The counter is not working on play or fast forward, but watch this. If I hit play and then I just slightly pull down on this, a tiny amount of pressure on this, just down, just the slightest amount, both those wheels start spinning and that sound goes away. And that also gets the counter to work. If I let go of it, counter doesn't work. And this has the same thing to do with fast forward. Watch, if I fast forward, it, nothing happens. But if I pull down a touch, it goes and the counter goes. If I let go, you know, I don't know if this is a, if it's a tension adjustment, is it a belt adjustment? I'd love to um, get this thing up and running. I feel like I'm gonna mess something up, but I've noticed that I think these two things are supposed to be even when it plays and it, when it fast forwards, but they're not. This one drops down lower, watch. See, 
higher, lower, and moving it up doesn't make doesn't engage the counter, but nothing. It just fucks up the tape. But if I pull it down, that makes these two things spin when I pull that down. So I think that has to do with fast forward tension. But I'm if I mess with that, that could change the way the machine plays and rewinds and stuff, and then then I'm in trouble. I'm terrified because because. I'm worried about messing with that. That's what's confusing. I need, I need it to be even, just like it is now, in play mode. But if I do that manually, just like this, without adjusting the tension, it just, it just fucks up. So confusing. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna do something that I'm a little afraid to do, which is adjust the tension rollers, because I think that's the issue with this fast forward thing. But I don't have the special tool that measures the tension of the rollers, so I have to guess, which I don't like doing that type of stuff. I don't think I have a choice because those tension things are really expensive. It works as it is, but I don't want to try to fix it. I'm being really impulsive. I just need to go for it. I, oh, I'm being so stupid. F it. I guess I'm gambling right now by doing this, but I'm just obsessed. I'm like rushing to this thing. There are a lot of adjusters. So these are the ones that affect everything right here. These seven here. I'm really terrified. All right. So here's the angle that this tension roller is on. I'm about to adjust. So I'm about to adjust this guy. And I just want a little reference to see what kind of angle it was on. Just like that. Okay. Here I go. I guess I'm going to start by going to the right. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Oh, it's spinning. Oh my god, the counter's working. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's fing working. Holy sh. Can you see that? Can you see that the ca the counter is going up now? Ah! Oh my god. I can't believe it. That fixed it. Just getting that to work was like two weeks of research and 10 seconds of adjusting. But now I need to check with the manual. The center of those, I may have gone too far actually. It's working, why don't I, why don't I just leave it? I can't believe it. Anybody want me to feel that? Holy fuck. So let me see if, if rewind still works. Yep. Woo! Fast forward is really fast. Why is fast forward so fast? So everything's cool, but fast forward scares the shit out of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm, interesting. missing one there too but this is the tape machine and I'm sure you guys would like to see it because I'm sure you guys saw Travis's travesty where his fast forward is just fucking bullshit let's see how fast your fast forward is because mine is fast forward check it out baby dude we're about to go warp speed Yeah, that's that's fast. That's normal. That's okay. Normal. Okay. So I should. Yeah, I it. haven't I haven't adjusted anything as far as speeds or anything. Okay. All I did was change out the um, the what you call it that rubber fucking thing in the back. What is it? The timing belt. <laughs> the timing belt. Yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna see if the adjustment I made affected playback at all because I bounced this to my computer earlier. So let's see if it still can sync up more or less because that was my biggest concern. I'll advance this a little bit. There we go. Sounds pretty synced up. If you're interested in how I turned this dirty, cat-infested barn into a recording studio, and how it's probably haunted by a Civil War veteran who murdered his wife, then check out this video. Mm -hmm. 